In this section, uh, we will see how we can uh, configure OSPF on the uh, customer as devices and uh, how we can uh, take the use of open show test path first using the MPLS backbone. So let's start our configuration. So uh, this is <clears throat> our diagram that uh, we have been following up in our series. So we have the PE1 router, which is router number one. And on the right hand side, you can see we have the R4, which is the PE2 router, right? So PE1 is connected to customer B. So uh, in the OSPF uh, module, we will follow or we will use the customer B sites, okay? So on the left hand side, you can see the, we have the site one for customer B. And on the right hand side, we have the site number two for the same customer, customer B. So at uh, PE1 uh, is connected to the customer edge router R8 and PE2 R4 is connected to the customer edge router R6. So now let's see how we can configure the OSPF using this MPLS backbone. Let's connect to our provider edge router one. So our interface, which is going to the customer edge device R8, it is F2 by zero, right? Do show an interface F2 by zero. So it is already into customer VRF B, right? So now let's create the OSPF neighborship between the customer edge device and the PE router. So I will say router OSPF. Then we need to give the process ID VRF. VRF name is customer B. Let's uh, also configure the router ID for OSPF. Let's say router ID is one because PE1, it's PE1. So I'm taking the router ID as one network. So this is our uh, interface IP, right? So we can put it into area zero, right? That's it. On the uh, customer device, I have already configured the OSPF. I can show you quickly. Let me go to R8 show IP OSPF uh, interface brief. Now you can see I have uh, configured OSPF for the loopback interface and on the interface which is connected to our PE device, right? So now you can see the OSPF neighborship is up. Now let's uh, do the same thing for uh, PE2. Let's connect to PE2, router number four. Router OSPF, process ID is 100, VRF. VRF name is customer B, right? Router ID, this is router number four. So I'm taking router ID as dot four. Network, the network interface IP, which is connected to the customer as device is four, 6.1.1.4 so what we can do is we can do like this 0.255.255.255 area 0 right the neighborship will come up you can see because I have already configured router 6 with OSPF so now neighborship is up now uh, to send this particular, let's say uh, at R, we have the uh, loopback zero at R8. If we go to R8, and we are also running uh, OSPF on, on that loopback, right? So R1 or PE1 will receive this loopback via OSPF, right? Let's check it, show IP route. OSP show IP route VRF customer B, right? So we are running uh, OSPF with the customer and we are also receiving the loopback zero or you can say uh, this prefix 8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 as an area route, right? So on our customer as device also, we are running OSPF area zero. So provider as device or PE1 is receiving this particular uh, loopback as an intra area 
prefix okay now let's check the same thing uh, at r6 we are having a loopback 0 6.6.6.6 .6 so now let's check on uh, pe2 show ip route vrf customer b now we are also receiving this particular route right now what we need to do is we need to redistribute the ospf into bgp so that r1 can receive 8.8.8 .8 right let's also write it down here 8.8.8 .8 and on r6 we have 6.6.6 .6 .6. so let's do it like this so at r1 we need to redistribute the ospf into bgp so that r1 can uh, uh, install this into the bgp uh, table right and via the ibgp neighborship it can send this and uh, this particular route can be reached or can be sent to r4 right so we need to redistribute this ospf into bgp and likewise once this particular uh, prefix reaches to r4 then we need to redistribute the bgp into ospf so that this this particular subnet can be sent to r6 right so on both side we need to do do the uh, mutual redistribution of ospf into bgp and vice versa right so i will go to r1 and he will say router ospf 100 vrf customer b redistribute bgp the bgp number as number is 500 and subnets right now i will go to my bgp process you will say address family ipv4 vrf what is the vrf name that is customer b now we will say redistribute ospf the ospf process is 100 match internal external because if you do not give this external keyword by default bgp is going to redistribute only the internal prefixes or only uh, type 1 type 2 and type 3 lsa prefixes so we must mention this external keyword if we want to uh, redistribute the external uh, routes also which are learned uh, into the uh, ospf right like type five lsas so and uh, in the external we do have two options right external one and external two similarly we need to also mention if we are uh, also having the nssa routes so we need to mention nssa1 and nssa2 right let's set some metric also that while uh, we are redistributing this these particular ospf prefixes uh, also set some metric do not uh, pick up the default one so we are at pe1 let's set uh, 111 okay so now at pe1 we have done the mutual redistribution of ospf into bgp and bgp into ospf so now r8 must receive the prefix right or let's uh, first complete our configuration on r4 as well so now i am at pe2 I will go to the OSP process. So uh, uh, router OSPF 100 VRF, VRF name is customer B. Uh, router ID we have already defined. We just need to redistribute BGP. BGP AS number is 500. I will say subnet. And let's copy this command from here. Show history. So I'm just copy pasting it at R4. So now we are done with the mutual redistribution at PE1 and PE2 as well, right? So now let's find out if our uh, loopbacks are now received at the uh, customer as devices. So now let's try with R6. Show IP route OSPF. Now you can see we are receiving the 8.8.8.8, right? Let's check at our 
8 also if you are receiving the r6 subnet uh, r8 show ip route ospf so we are receiving the 6.6.6 .6 subnet as well okay so this is the configuration uh, that we can use to configure the ospf into our mpls backbone so in our next section uh, we will see what is the use of ospf domain id okay and uh, what is the uh, use of route type and all so we'll check it out in our next section uh, i would request to like subscribe and share my videos to uh, all the uh, network engineers who just want to learn mpls or uh, maybe some other network related stuff